Hello everyone, this is your favorite companion, Mr. Wholesaler of Cincinnati. In this down market, as the news anchor men say, this is the greatest market and I hope your investing is going well. Do not give up on deals, keep moving forward, keep getting your bandit signs out there. There is light at the end of the tunnel, but it takes faith and determination to sell each and every house. Um, you know, it really depends. Some are easy, some are very hard. But like I say, I never give up on a deal. This is a new one we just got at 7108 Dil Dilward Street. This is in Carthage. Now this is a three bedroom rental property. Could possibly have a fourth bedroom in the basement. The, uh, the perks about it is has one layer on the roof, has a newer carrier furnace, has the updated panel, could have a fourth bedroom in the basement. This would make a great Section 8 rental. It needs to be cleaned out. It needs some fresh carpet, some, some, some fresh paint, um, stuff along those lines, and then it'll be ready to rent out as we speak. We're asking 25.5 for this handyman special in Carthage. Let's jump right into this video. Okay, and like I said, as you see, I'm standing in the basement area. This could actually be considered possibly a fourth bedroom. Um, you know, not for Section 8. They would not consider this a fourth bedroom. But for you, as rental purposes, maybe to get a little extra rent out of your uh, tenants, uh, you can make this into some type of uh, entertainment room, something along those lines. Uh, base basement is very dry. You know, we've had a lot of rain. It is an old block foundation. But you see it does have new, new, some newer windows. I think that one, or that's just for the dryer vent. All newer windows in the basement, which is definitely a plus. You can see those in there. Um, very dry down here. Like I say, here is the carrier furnace. Um, I want to say he said this is about three years old. So it's a three-year-old furnace. Has an updated panel. Has a newer hot water heater, which is a great, great selling uh, perk. Like I said, and then there's the panel, which is updated. It's got your 220 service right there. And then we will actually go upstairs. Now the rehab costs, it's going to vary depending on what you want to do. But like I say, for rental purposes, you know, maybe put a little, uh, fix that drawer right there. Maybe some new linoleum down here, some fresh paint, and it's ready to be rented out. I mean, this, we're talking just candy coating it, using it as a rental property. Nice hardwood. Would you put carpet down and refinish the hardwood that you as an investor's? standpoint what you think you should do and i mean the bathroom you know maybe do some epoxy paint to save to save money um you know any way you can save a dollar to get to get more rent rolls that's really the way you want to go and this is the bedroom like i said there's gonna have to be some patching done there do you do carpet do you do hardwood it's up to you like i say but this is a nice little street this is on the outskirts actually off of north bend um so, you know, it's a great location, centralized everything for your tenants. Um, so, you know, you got one bedroom and then upstairs, we kind of got to walk through a bedroom to get to a bedroom. And there you go. I mean, definitely needs to be cleaned out. Like I said, it looks like the tenants just got up and ran out in the middle of the night, which that's usually what they do. And they leave all the junk behind for you. I mean, not a bad house, very solid. As you can see, it does have some new replacement windows. Um, there are a few that still need to be done to this. So see, there you go, got the new double. That's an older window in the kitchen. Those two are need, probably need to be replaced. The bathroom, and then there are as, uh, two windows here. But for rental purposes, I say you just leave it alone. Come in, throw some fresh paint, some brand new carpet, uh, do a little bit of uh, fixing up in the kitchen. Maybe uh, you know a little paint, a little epoxy paint on the bathtub, and rent it out. He was actually getting six fifty a month for this, um, but I believe you could get you could definitely get up to in between six fifty to seven fifty a month for a three bedroom on this street. Very quiet street. Like I say, there's West Seymour. The other side is North Bend down there. So lots of potential, and as you can see, new roof on there, which that's a great thing. Um, you know, for rental purposes, would you have to paint the outside? I say you just leave it. And don't forget, we buy houses, quick debt relief.
there you go. I mean, nice little cookie cutter home. This would make a great, great rental property or lease option property. Um, now, it does not have a yard. Um, the backyard is very small. But we'll go ahead and show it to you while we're here. I mean, maybe you could take some trees out, make a little, you know, patio back here with some, with some stone and rock. We can see the gutters are in good shape. Uh, it does have a... Like I say, I believe you could come in here, probably throw five, six K in it. You have a total investment of about 30,500 and rent this thing out all day long for 650 on the low scale. And you're gonna make your money back in a you know, very uh, fast amount of time. Would not take long to recoup your money in this handyman special. There you go, just another handyman special. We're throwing out there from Mr. Wholesaler of Cincinnati. Check out my website, MrWholesalerofCincinnati.net. Feel free to call me day or night, 310-5964. I want to thank you, 7108 Dilward Avenue or Street. I think it's 45216 in Carthage, 255. Thank you. Keep investing in yourself and in real estate. God bless.